Today we have uh, a very interesting one. This is an experimental hybrid that Vincent has made, Coheed 196. Um, I have not asked for any information on the hybrid um, so that uh, I'm not biased in any way going into trying it. So I'm not, uh, I'm not at all sure what has gone into making this hybrid, nor am I sure what generation um, Vincent's up to with it. I'll try and find out more information um, and I'll put Vincent's uh, THP stuff uh, down below and then you can have a look at that. But what does it look like? Well, beautiful chocolatey pod and it's very Naga like in the fact that it has the three lobes like this way and is somewhat triangular. But as I say, no preconceptions. I have no idea what was used to make this cross. So let's dig into it and see if any clues pop out from that. I made a bit of a pig's ear of uh, cutting it open, but that's what it looks like. It's a very nice smelling pepper. I'm not going to be uh, saving or distributing seeds for this. It has a, a naggerish smell to it actually, but um, Funnily enough, it, it, there actually is an undercurrent of, uh, of almonds. Um, so I wonder if Vincent's decided to put some cyanide in a pepper and knock me out for good. There's quite a lot of oil. Um, so for instance, right up under here on the longer placenta. See if I can get that. Not really. There, there you go. On the placenta there, there's definitely quite a bit of oil deposits. And there's quite a bit of placenta in there too. And there's a lot more oil deposits down this end as well, down over here. There you go. So it's an oily little thing. But it's a really, really nice uh, aroma. Very, very nice. All right, let's put it back together and chomp it down. Hi, Nigel Carter back again for another another quick review, and this one's an interesting one. Um, this is a cross made by Vincent uh, Coheed One Nine Six, as it's Coheed Week. <laughs> This is a cross made by Vincent, and I haven't asked for any details of the cross. I don't want to know. Um, what I want to do is give it a fair chance and not be um, biased by any preconceived ideas of what it should taste or smell like, or how hot it should be. So this is the pepper you've just seen. It's uh, it's actually pretty oily inside, and it has a very naggerish flavour, but it's very sweet, sweet smelling. Not naggerish flavour, naggerish aroma, uh, but it's sweet smelling and has like an undercurrent of almonds to it actually. And a little bit of fruitiness to it too. It's, it's actually one of the best smelling peppers I've, I've smelled in a long time. So, I'm not going to take the seeds out, let's just get rid of the stem, just make sure it's the right one, yeah that's the right one, and any information that I can find I'll put down below, uh, I'm not sure where Vincent is with this, um, 
where he is with distributing it to, to growers, whether it's uh, stable or not, I have no idea. Um, and as I said, I don't want to know, I just want to go in completely blind. So, Coheed 196, Vincent's Cross, special one. Mmm, very sweet, wow. With a very lemony acidity to it. Mmm, that that bit of acidity really helps a lot with that. The chocolatey coloured pods tend to be a little bit flat and earthy for me, but the acidity in this is beautiful, absolutely fantastic. There's a very fresh flavour to it. Um, the acidity again is really helping that. <clears throat> it has the brown pod flavours, sort of earthiness and richness, but it's tempered by that layer of acidity. Mmm, that's a delicious pepper. Really, really good. And it's pretty hot too. It's uh really starting to come on. It wasn't much to start with. And it's really blazing forwards now. Wow. I can honestly say that that's the best brown chocolate coloured pod I've ever tasted. And it's hot. It really is quite hot. Wow. Flavour is a little bit naggerish, but not not much actually. Yeah, the flavours it's very different, very different from any other brown pot I've eaten. So the the, <clears throat> the burn is all in the front of the mouth. It's it's tongue and the roof of the mouth, and it's actually quite hot. Um, It's 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 hotter than a nagger, I would say, a regular nagger morich. <clears throat> I ate some black naggers just recently, and um, I'd say it was as hot as a black nagger. Mm, it caught me by surprise. I didn't expect it to be a real real warm one, but it's quite a a stingy heat. Um, <clears throat> it's like my my tongue's covered in pins and needles, um, and there's certainly some in the back of the throat too. I'm starting to get as the saliva kicks in. I'm starting to get it going to the back of my throat uh, and hang around a bit. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit of a hot coal in the back of the throat. But yeah, it's it's quite an, it is a aggressive kind of burn on that one actually um, with it being so prickly hmm that's a very interesting pepper and much hotter than I expected that's um, yeah that's that's up up super hot level just as hot as a boot a chocolate boot um, a rather than a chocolate naga, a black naga, it's definitely as hot as one of those. And now it's mainly got on the side in the back of my throat, and I've got a real hot coal in the back of my throat now. <clears throat> it's hot enough just to make make it a little bit difficult to talk because it's in the back of the throat and on the tongue. <coughs> Definitely starting to make me sweat too. So it's just about peat. It's just about at the top where it's going to be now. It's very, very hot down my esophagus and into my stomach. <clears throat> um, 
but it still maintained the very front of the tongue and then in the back of the throat. Hmm. You told me that wasn't going to be very hot, Vincent. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, that's 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 got serious levels of heat. It's not uh, it's not brain strain hot or Maruga scorpion hot, but th that's up there with uh, with all with the hottest of the nagas. As I say, the the burn is quite different too. The front of my tongue is absolutely blistering hot, and then there's nothing really the rest of my tongue and then the back of my throat has got a nice hot coal back there which makes it kind of tough to swallow <laughs> so it's a little bit painful too that one um, I don't feel any endorphins coming yet but uh, wouldn't surprise me if I got a few from this well that's a surprise best tasting brown pot I've ever eaten it really is uh, no joke it's such a balanced um, I love balance in food balance between sweet and sour and fruity and not fruity and bitter and not bitter and, um, and this one has that a real real balance with that citrusy uh, acidity to the flavor it has the the brown notes for want of a better term that you get in in the chocolate pods where it's earthy and rich and it, it maintains those but it also has quite a lot of sweetness um, and quite a bit of fruitiness and you combine it all together and that's a hell of a pepper and it burns like hell that's uh, yeah hellfire that's a, that's a good burn Excuse me. No tears today with that one, but Nagas and Boots and some of these Trinidad peppers that are around about a million or so don't tend not to make me cry too much. And wow, that's all I can say. That's that's fantastic. So we're on the way down with the burn, but it's still hanging around. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it ends up being quite a painful burn on your tongue. Uh, it's just a really bad throat burn from the uh, like the hot coal feeling you get. But on the tongue now, it's really quite painful. But only on the front. In the middle of the tongue, going back, nothing. Well, what can I say? Very surprising and I like that one a great deal I really do um, I don't have seeds um, but Vincent um, is obviously thinking about where he is with the with the pod and, and quite honestly mate you you've nailed it whatever you were going for you have nailed it wonderful pod really wonderful flavors uh, great balance really quite hot very nice very very good so I think we'll we'll leave that here. And this is Nigel Carter thanking Coheed196, thanking Vincent very much for sending that wonderful pod. And I'll do some more reviews again soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.